Okay, today I'm going to show you Donde Light, which is our GPS app for the Samsung Wave. It works on the models 525, 533, 723, and probably a bunch of others by the time this comes out. Um, this one's the 533 with the keyboard. Okay, straight away enable location services in the phone settings. GPS is disabled on this phone, we have to turn it on. So let's do that. Go to the menu. Settings, yep. connectivity, location, enable location services. Our GPS is turned on now. We can also enable network positioning, which is uh, positioning from the mobile phone network. But we don't need that. Not here. Let's go back to Dundee. Problem goes away. Ah, we've even got a GPS signal. As you can see, right here, walking feet mean that it, it wants you to walk. Uh, this phone has no compass, it has no magnetics, it has no gyroscope, it can't tell which way it's pointing. Instead, as you walk, it calculates your course and then that's how it knows which way you're pointing. Along here, latitude, longitude, course, altitude, and here are your waypoints on a scrollable list, so you can add more as you need them. Now I'm going to flip to map view. You do that by sliding the compass across to one side. Compass, of course, the course direction. Uh, this feature uses the internet. Data transfer as main curve charges. This is actually a browser onto Google Maps. And so it has to connect to the internet to do it. On the direction screen, it doesn't connect to the internet. So it's connected to the internet and it's pulled down a map. And in the center, you can see our location and the, the direction we're pointing. Now, on the side you have the zoom in and zoom out buttons. Get it back into portrait uh, so I can zoom out. And you'll notice as I zoom out it switches it into terrain mode so you can see the mountains and the lake. And I can zoom in again and as we zoom in it switches back to street view. Along the bottom we have the waypoints. Again, it's still a scrollable list. I can select a waypoint and it will jump. So you can see it's shown two waypoints. There are light green and a dark green centered on our, our selected waypoint. Let's zoom in on that. Uh, suppose I want to add a location here. I can press and hold. Menu comes up add and I can tap add and it will add that location. And I can also zoom in and zoom out. Uh, suppose I'm interested in here. Let's double click. Okay, I've taken it for a little walk and so it knows our direction. Uh, northwest basically. And you see the direction arrows for the waypoints. And it's clear. Okay, it's expired now, they're timed out. Um, it'll go back to the walking feet soon. Donde Light is a GPS app for walkers. Unlike car navigation, it doesn't concentrate on turn by turn or one way streets. It focuses on what there is to see, where it is, how far, in what direction, and whether it's at the top of a hill or not. So let's add some waypoints. Let's see what there is to see. Now, suppose we're going on a holiday to uh, Marseille. That's, we've got the 533 here, so let's use the keyboard. We can enter Marseille in here. Tap search. And it looks at the latitude and longitude of our uh, centre of Marseille. And let's also tap the altitude, so it's 49 metres above sea level. Along the top you see GPS, uh, course, the photos in the camera, and most interesting of all is the web content. The web content is what we're going to show you now. Let's flip it back to portrait. Uh, Panoramio is probably the most interesting of these. This is a, a website from Google. Where people upload photos and they can tag the location of those photos. And we can do a search on the location in Marseille and pull up photos of 
what people took photos of and um, we can see if there's anything interesting that we might want to see and we can add them as waypoints now there'll be a lot of photos in Marseille so it'll take a little time to do the query Okay, now it's flipped to loading. What it's doing is it's loading down thumbnails of the images that people have uh, taken. And here we are. We have a nice friendly scrollable list and it's really pin sharp you can't quite see it in the photos from this camera but they are very sharp and very crisp um, let's see for example here it'll pull down a medium sized image now from uh, Panoramio there you go sharpens up this is the Theatre de Giraffe. If we had a course heading it would show us in which direction it is and it's 471 kilometers away from where we are but if we were in the center of town it would tell us you know, 100 meters to the north. Uh, there's two links on here. I can click the link for the photo and it'll take us to the Panoramio website or more interestingly I can click on the persons link and that takes them to their personal web page for this we know they visited Marseille, we know they took this photo perhaps they have more interest in photos related to this that we also want to see so here we see the Panoramio site popping up it's been to Egypt I'm not sure that's particularly interesting Maybe that. So I've just tapped on one of his photos. As you can see, I'm in a web browser viewing panoramio.com. When the page is loaded, Don Daylight will pass the page and look for GPS tags. And from that it knows, yep, it's found one. Uh, so it has a latitude and longitude. So let's add this one. Oops. And we go back. And we'll go back again. And we're back at the photos and we can choose to add some more. For example, I quite like this one. Back to Triumph in Marseille. Let's add that. And we go back to the... And there's these two waypoints. I'm not sure this was in Marseille. Let's have a little look at it. So I select it. I can swing across to the map view. Ah, okay. Spain. Spain, Tossa de Mar, Playa de Oro, Catalonia. And that's how you add photos from tourist sites as waypoints. Now let me show you how to add a GPS location. Again, you tap add, you're in the GPS screen, we use the keyboard since we have it. When you first start this up, if you have a GPS fix, the latitude and longitude are your current GPS location. So if you just want to add your GPS location, you can just simply add, like that. 
And there it is. And we're here. It's flashing away to show that we're here. But we're going to add a different waypoint. So I'm going to delete this. Now I can enter it as degrees, minutes, seconds, or just degrees. So I could put 45.12345. Or I could put uh, 45 colon 33 colon 22.6. And you'll notice that it's substituted the degrees, minutes, and seconds automatically. And uh, for south, we can press minus and it changes it to a south, or we could type S, or in the Korean and Chinese versions, you can type the Korean and Chinese characters. Okay, let's add a fixed heading. A fixed heading is where you have travel in a particular bearing, but without a distance. So let's say we start at the Atomium. I selected Atomium and I selected Edit and we have its details here. We go to the second tab along the top with this is the Course tab. And this is where we depart from. And we want to go north. And we just want to go on forever so we leave it as infinity. And this gives us a fixed heading. I can then switch to the map view and have a look at that. And there it is, a northern line going off into infinity. Okay, now let's add a geocache near our current location. When we go to the Add tab, our current location is already entered because we have a GPS fix. I can tap the web content, geocaching. I've just logged in already uh, so I don't need to log into the geocaching website again we'll just wait for that to load And there's a very small cache here. Yet another Canal Grand. Okay, select that one. Now along the bottom you can see we have a waypoint bar. If it finds a geotag on the page, it will display the details of it here. We have a cache number, yet another Grand Canal, add, and that takes us back to the main screen where we can see what the added waypoint. Now suppose we are on holiday and we want to find a hotel near our sites. Uh, we can do that quite easily. Let's, for example, find our hotel near this Arc de Triomphe in Marseille. We select it, edit, the Arc de Triomphe's details are here. We go to web content, hotels, and we're taken to the HRS booking site, which lists hotels nearby. Change the dates single room, double room, search for a hotel and 
it proposes nearby hotels.